Come on. 
Welcome home, Roy. Welcome home. I've been waiting for you, Roy. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I should have known. Turbo, you old perverted. Hey, man, not me. Man, that's freak outs for you. <laughs> Hi, dear. Still scotch and soda with the love on the rock. job together so we can get down. I'm with you, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five, brother. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. You're a real good teacher. We've all been placed in the casino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turbo's kept me advice. That's why we've been waiting for you to get out, so we can get the shit on. Mm. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, we can't do anything yet. We gotta wait until Robbie gets out, and then we'll place a fifth man in the hotel. <laughs> All right. Hey, honey, why don't you take my car and drive the other girls home? <clears throat> I'll call you later. <laughs> this hotel is out. Bobby's not coming. The cat got wasted in his cell block. Wasted him. And why? It doesn't matter right now. We got more important business to take care of. You talk about a brother's life, Roy. Just can't pass it off like that. I'd like to know why Robin was killed. Let's just go on with the plans. That's what we came here for. The cat is dead, you know? So, like, we, we move on to something positive. Like, M O N E Y. I'm not gonna do a fucking thing till I find out what happened. Now, we're an organization. If we're gonna be careless about Robin's death, then I want out. What's it gonna be? I'm not gonna rap about something I don't know. Now, the man is dead. And that's all we know for sure. Now, I'm running this operation. And I set up this meeting for final plans. Now, whoever don't buy that, there's the door. We'll look into Robbie's death later. But what Roy says is right. 
Now, we've all got a big stake in this. Hey, man, I'm in this to get the bread to set up organizations to keep brothers from being railroaded and wasted. Now, that's what it's all about. Whoever wasted Robin, I want to waste him. When we find out who wasted him, we'll all waste him. Uh, can we get down to business now? Okay, first thing. I gotta see Mr. Mayfield. About some operating capital. Troy King, get me fuel. I never drink when I'm on duty. There's a lot of things I don't know. Especially about you. Why'd you refuse to uh, let me see you when I visited you in prison? Baby, those hunkies would have been all over my black ass if they would have saw a beautiful blonde holding my hand through the bars. After all, wasn't the same reason you that I was set up in the first place? Remember? You know, you could have at least written. I loved you, Roy. When they sent my letters back to me, I nearly went crazy. I hurt Roy. I hurt real bad. <laughs> I understand uh, the money that I was set up for stealing must have bought a lot of linen sheets for Mayfield's bed. I hear they're custom made. Uh, what color did you choose? I went up to his penthouse and we talked. I've never had anything to do with him. Not then and not since that you've come back. And not now. Get off it. It's the truth, Roy. Baby, it's too late for the truth. Roy? Roy, it's not too late. Roy, it's not too late! <laughs> Mr. Mayfield would like to see you. Now. Mr. Mayfield, you say that in the same tone as you say, Mr. Charles. Yes? Oh, yes. They're fine, send it right in. Uh, thank you, and, uh, and close the door behind you, please. Quite a change from the little security officer you were. I can see you on your way up. Well, Las Vegas is growing, and uh, one has to keep pace or they get run over. I gotta hand it to you, Mayfield. You really know how to operate. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Roy. 
Uh, however, we're we're not here to talk about me. Y you see, I want you uh, out of Las Vegas. <laughs> you never did waste words. What do you propose? Well, you've... You really can't give me any problems. Uh, however, your presence here might make things a, a little uncomfortable for me. And I do like my comforts. Say, uh, $3,000 worth. See, you have a record now, and no place in this town can afford to hire you. Even if they wanted to. I've got a record for something I didn't do. Uh, no, that's not the way the court saw it in any way. That is ancient history, isn't it? My money isn't ancient history. I served time for... 500,000 that disappeared. Open the safe. <laughs> Let's see what you can give me on account. a week from each casino. Internal Revenue Service, sure would like to see this. And the casino owners. The syndicate will kill you for this. And you for losing it. So I'll just uh, hold on to this for our protection, just until I get all my share, which is half the money we stole. 250000 Find Charles and get him in here.
more chips, huh? Come on, come on, come on, Dave. Huh? Any more chips, huh, Tucker? No? Huh? Hold it, Green. You bring that down, you're gonna answer to me. Nigger's a thief. When are you gonna quit making excuses to mutilate people? If the man stole, we got a sheriff in town. Hey, throw that son of a bitch out with the garbage. You really want sick motherfucking hunky? Put him in a cab. Or you'll answer to me. Just. see if I could help. If it's anything you need. If you could have helped me keep him alive, that would have been all I needed. Robbie was going to work for me. I know. And now I'd like to forget all about that kind of life. So I'd appreciate it if you'd just go and leave me alone. Robbie told me about the kids. And a boy four and a girl three, right? Leave my children out of this. I'm going to keep them as far away as possible from you and anybody who had anything to do with Robbie. They're gonna have a chance. A chance that Robbie and I never had. of his involvement with people like you. Listen, lady. I met Robbie in the slam. I didn't put him there. Thought he was a beautiful dude. I just wanted to do something for his old lady and his... and his kids. I didn't come here to argue with you. Look, here's five thousand dollars. Should take care of you and the kids for a while. Do you plan to come back here tonight and payment for it? Because if you do, you can get laid on the street for a lot less than that. Or even buy that blonde in the casino. If you're trying to take Robbie's place, forget it. Just take your money and get out of here. Am I interrupting something? Well, if it isn't Mr. Charlie's boy. 
Mr. King was just leaving. Talking about the company one keeps, I'd rather be with your husband's friends. What the hell was Roy King doing here? He's a friend of Robbie's. Just dropped by to see if I needed anything. Do you know that nigga is walking dynamite looking for a place to explode? What's that supposed to mean? The nigga just pulled a gun on Mayfield and took some money he thinks is owed him for going to prison. And you know they're not going to let him get away with that. At least he's doing something. They set Robbie up and killed him, and nobody's doing anything about that. Okay. But still, it's better you stay away from Roy King. You hear me? I don't have to answer to anybody for my actions, but myself. punks pose any sort of threat. I say we gotta get rid of them and kill that legislation. No, we don't want any confrontations with any civil rights groups. It's bad for our image. <laughs> you know, we used to control the ghetto. We used to tell them what rat infested hole to live in. That's the way to keep in their place, you know. <laughs> they want civil rights. Who's mine? Uh, there is one black gentleman that, uh, that I would like to get rid of. Uh, Charles, huh? No. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I was thinking of Roy King. You see, Charles does exactly what I tell him, so we don't have to concern ourselves with him. Oh? Yeah, but I do worry about him, because I don't want niggas threatening my position. You know, that's what's happening in all the cities, you know. They get in positions, you gotta make deals with them. As soon as you start dealing with them, bam, they start believing there's somebody. And, and what do you propose to do about them? Simple like, use the old rape and the white woman did. I'll get one of the casino chicks to cooperate. Like maybe, uh, Valerie, for instance. She likes niggas anyway. Stay away from her. You keep your stinking hands off. Why don't you tell that to nigger Roy, huh? Bye. All right, you take care of the two punks, and I'll take care of Roy in my own way. Leave Charles out of it. Hey, hey, Mayfield. Take a look. Detroit's not the same without you, Joe. Uh, and I see um, things aren't the same around here anymore. You did your errand, boy. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> you still know how to talk to us, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, we don't want you up here. We got white dogs up here. Why not a real person? You know, since you stopped sleeping with the rats and the cockroaches in the ghettos, you forget who you are, you know that? Maybe there wouldn't be any rats and cockroaches in the ghetto if it wasn't for white slime like you.
cool it. We have many more important things to do. Now, why don't you throw that dummy a life preserver and we'll go have ourselves a drink. Okay. Charles, come on. Help me! Help! Help! Okay. Just turn the music off and get down to business. <laughs> Now, at the Crystal, the skim money is kept on the fourth floor office. Now, it's kept in a small floor safe. Now, a couple of us could lure it out the window. Now, we could lure it down from the window with a pulley system to somebody waiting below. From what I can find out, gentlemen, there should be between six and seven hundred thousand dollars of weekly skim money. Woo! And all right. Oh. Okay. If we start there, we should be able to pull it off and be at Turbo's hotel in 15 minutes. Run it down for us, Turbo. At the sandbar, the skim money is on the seventh floor. Wall safe. That's here. It's one of the new Mosler models, the X220. I know about them. And we're going to have to blow it open. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, plastic dynamite should do it. Two wires connected to a battery can do the job. But what about the noise factor? No sweat. We get two matches, we can muffle the sound. And uh, if somebody's waiting there, hey, I can throw the money out the window in a, in a laundry bag. What about the time? I figure in and out in 15 minutes. Okay, so far, so good. Back bar. Da -da. Okay, now, at the Dumont, they're more trusting. They keep their skim money in a file cabinet in the casino manager's office. Now, at that time of night, Eleven. He's downstairs in the cashier's cage. Okay? They have a guard outside the door. Now, I figure if we could somehow get in through the window, get the money out of there, and split without them even knowing that we were there. There's only one problem. How do we get to and through the goddamn window? I got some of my own ideas on that. So let's move on to the forest, my old home. Skim is transferred every Saturday night, 10.30 sharp, from the, the cotton room. It's sneaked out in the empty food trays in a room service cot which is placed inconspicuously with the other cots on the service elevator. Sent up to the kitchen on the fifth floor below Mayfield's office where contact transfers it up to the penthouse. Who goes up with the food carts? Nobody. That's just in case someone is uh, watching the food cart as it's removed from the cashier's cage, like a IRS agent or the hotel management or somebody. This way, it doesn't seem suspicious when the food carts are left alone on the service elevator. But what we have to do is somehow intercept that cot before it's moved up to the penthouse from the kitchen. Well, which means we either get into the elevator or into the kitchen. Right. Cashier's cage is on the first floor and the kitchen is on the fifth. These three windows. Here. <laughs> yeah. All right. What about the elevator? You need a special key to operate it. Like, special key, something like, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but what I want to know is, how you plan to do it? You'll know when the time comes. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Everything. 
Can I get you anything? Yeah, whatever the new star wants. Champagne? Scotch and water will be just fine, thank you. I may have changed my dress, but not myself. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see that all this glamour hasn't gone to your head. But old friends can still sit and be old friends. Speaking of old friends, have you seen Roy King lately? I don't talk to dead men. I'm only interested in the living. You said that before, but you never explained what you meant. Charles, if there's anything going on, I'd really like to know. Roy really was a friend to Robbie. And I wouldn't want to see what happened to Robbie happen to him. Oh, there's definitely something going on. But it's none of my business. I mean, I got my own problems to deal with. I'm sorry. What kind of problems you got? Joe Green? A Detroit punk named Castell, a hitman type, mm -hmm. had just been flown into town. Now, I can't add it all up. But Roy King should watch himself, because somebody's going to get it. Let's remember, he is a brother. <laughs> I didn't get myself thrown in jail, because you sure got a weakness for ex cons It's almost time for my next number. I better go change. Bye-bye. friend, baby, but he's dead. Life is for the living. I know that. That's why I want to live in my way. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't invite you here for that. Thank you for giving us the money. Can't kid myself. We could use it. Well, thank you. No, a phone call would have done it. Also, uh, I heard something. Is there something going on between you and Mayfield? <laughs> There's always something going on between me and Mayfield. No, it's something more important than that. Like your life. <laughs> How does a little girl like you know so much about life and death? Charles is driving you, babe. Charles is straight. But he works for Mayfield. So did you once there's a lot of things i did once you're just like robbie you don't take anything seriously you think all of life is just one big goddamn joke hey, come on you can't really talk about it huh? oh, oh. oh.
What the hell have you done with Nancy? Charles. How did you know I was here? I think there's a lot Charles knows. He isn't telling you. Hey, man, get yourself killed. But leave her out of it. You didn't answer my question. How did you know I was over here? Answer the lady, Charles. And while you're at it, you can tell her you knew that they were going to try and hit me today. I don't know you anything, man. You mean you did know. You knew they were going to kill him. You knew where and when, when I asked you at the club. I told you he was a marked man. I mean, uh, that's all I knew. Now, I'm, get your things together. I'm taking you out no, of here. No, I'm not going anywhere until I get something straight. Now, why can't the both of you get together? I don't get together with crooks. Nancy, this dude went to prison for robbing. And the first thing he does when he gets out is rob Mayfield. I mean, why can't you see him for what he is? Then why didn't your boss call the police? I'll tell you why. Because the money was mine. It was part of the money that I went to jail for taking. Only I didn't take it. Mayfield did. But I did the time. And I want it. All of it. Bullshit, Roy. Come on, man. It's bullshit because you didn't hear it from the white man, right? Wrong. I've heard that same crap from too many ex-convicts. I've been framed. Come on, baby. Take your blinders off. Hey, I can take care of myself. And Joe Green. Do you really think they're gonna let a black dude get any power? Or even keep what he's already got? I can handle Joe Green. Only till Mayfield doesn't need you anymore. Then he'll throw you out with a garbage man. That's their game. You'll become another fall guy just the way I was. I do my job and Mayfield plays it straight with me, period. Now, you coming? Stay here and listen to him cry the blues if you want to. But I'm getting out of here. Charles. Hey. It's your choice, baby. Think of my little practice range. <laughs> Dig, brother. Well, we've been working for months in the man's casinos. And dishwashing ain't my kind of gig at all. Hey, that's the deal. We work there and wait for Roy. That was the deal. We waited. Roy's out. I know we've been open all winter and nothing's happening. Look, man, I want to get it done and get out of this tits land. I don't mind the silicone world myself, you know, because as long as I can look at them and kiss in between them. <laughs> I'm tired of seeing brothers being fucked over. I want to set up my own organization. One that can cope with big business. One that takes money and power. Lots of it. And I'm not talking about TV militants or storefront militants, but the real thing. Cats that can go in and demand the pieces of pie. And get it. And I don't want to wait forever. Man, we'll wait just as long as you... Hey, man, we got this shit staked out. We got our plans. All we got to do is move. Only thing holding us up is Roy King. 
I heard somebody say Roy King. Yeah, brother, we called your name because you're jiving and bullshit. You're running around here playing pimp and playboy. You're not in Miami Beach or the River Air, motherfucker. You in Vegas trying to rip off the man who's ripping off the casinos. Well, that's what we're here for, and we want to know when. So just lay it on us right now. Dig it, brother. Like, uh, I can't make it on that $200 a week that I'm making at the casinos. You know, um, uh, like that doesn't even pay for my coke. Yes, Roy. It's time. We laid out the plans the other day. Now we want to know what you want us to do. I called the meeting for you. So let's see what you have to say. What I want to know is, when are we going to rob the scam money? Every day I see these chicks come out of the hotel with hat boxes full of scam. Out to the airport and around the world will be lunching. And all we're doing is sitting around our asses waiting. What the hell are we waiting for? That's your trouble. You never think about tomorrow. What you can't touch and spend today doesn't exist for you, huh? The man system wasn't set up overnight. Bullshit. All you're doing is running around with Robin's widow. That's all I can see. What you have to see is our own organization. Our own mafia, if that's the way you want to put it. Shit, man. Stop acting like scavengers that can't find food. I want my own system. Not just to rob some money, run around and spend it on dope and good times. That's what I was saying before you came in. But I don't think it can be done in this town. Why not? No, this is the most strongest of all the mafia strongholds. It's too big for us. Stop climbing over pebbles when other people are climbing mountains. Roy, do you really think that the mafia's gonna sit back and allow you to build a black organization? Who's in the most of our prisons? Our people. And why? Because we're the strongest in crime. And who runs those prisons? We do. Because we stick together and they fear us. And we've got to learn to stick together out here and use that fear. But they still got all the money. The toughies are old, decayed. And their overeducated sons are lawyers and accountants playing with books. Punks with degrees. We've got to plan it right. Right on, man. We can dig it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's get the money. Woo! Right on. <laughs> okay. I'll meet you at my car. Okay, Roy. <laughs> All right, Roy. All right. All right. All right. All right. Turbo, start up number 27. Okay. Push the lever to the right. Right! This completes the preparations. We go Saturday. <laughs> That's when the whole week's skim money is in. Busy with that, huh? Okay. You think you can custom that job by then? Better than General Motors.
France. The full reports for the week. Try, right, thank you. You didn't have to come down and get that yourself. Yes, yes, I know. Um, I, um, I wanted to talk to you, Charles. I hear the big boys have got you on the carpet. What is that supposed to mean? You made a mistake. You sent for that hunky hitman from Detroit. And he not only blew the hit, but he almost got himself killed to boot. How would you have handled it? Want some coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Charles, how would you have handled it? I heard you the first time. I'm not into murder. Well, then you're not into power. Get Green out of my way. And I'll get King out of yours. No. No, I can't do that. You see, the investors put Green in, and I, uh, I can't cross him. Not yet. I have to, um, I have to discredit him in their eyes. And then they'll take care of him. It won't be long. Fine. You let me know when. Then we'll talk about King. I want King now. Charles, listen to me. The time is right. I can bring your people in. With I... you at the top? With me at the top? And you at the top? It takes heavy capital. Money. Yes, yes and no. And I have it. A lot of it. You see, all the... Uh, all the skim doesn't leave here. I'm going to the top, Charles, and I can take you with me. But we have to go up or we're out. There's no standing still, no middle ground. Here's $50,000 on account. I don't want to know any of the details. You take care of King in your way, and I'll handle Green. Yes, you and I. We can run this whole outfit, Charles. But you have to be with me all the way. Or you're out. Thank you. Charles can get next to him. I got a guy coming get from Detroit. Well, for... Just forget it. No, as a matter of fact, you keep your man on ice for a while. We will save him to Charles. I don't get it. Well, after Charles takes care of King, then your man will dispose of Charles because he served his purpose. It's, it's very simple to written. What stuff is that good? I'm gonna buy it. You will buy anything I say. And don't you forget that green. Yeah, 
Why do you want to see Roy this time of night? Can you arrange it? Well, I guess so. I can try. I'll make the call. meet him at the crown plant on fifth street why are we out there you can't really blame him for being a little cautious why are you angry at me i'm not mad i just don't want you involved in any of this listen I lost Robbie because I wasn't there when he needed me. Come on, me. baby. That's crazy talk now. Don't do that to yourself, huh? I'm not going to take a chance on losing you. Or Roy. Okay. You drive. I'll ride with you. I'm 
until I wanted him. What did you do, send him in ahead of time? Oh, it seemed like a good idea. Uh, good idea, huh? Well, you know what I just got? I just got a call from Charles telling me King is dead. Now, you know what we gotta figure out is how much Charles knows. You just can't listen to orders, can you, dummy? You know, where is he? Don't go take care of him. God damn it, thank you. What do you think, he's waiting down the street for you to kill him? I want to. Now, Eddie. Listen, you walk downstairs with a gun in front of all them tours, and this casino is shut down from now on. Charles, Just Charles. The syndicate don't give a shit. They don't give a shit. There will be no guns in this casino ever. Let me tell you something, Joe. Well, he'd be here tonight on his regular shift. Hey, guys. They went for it. They bought it, man. And I think the present has just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Brother Charles, yeah. welcome to the Brotherhood. All you. right, all right. Hey, man, hey, I just got the word, yeah? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, welcome. Thank you brother. Thank you, man. <laughs> so they think Roy is dead, huh? <laughs> Hey, where do we go from here, brothers? The wheel of good fortune is turning. Turning for tonight. Well, baby, this is it. What we've been waiting for. I just hope we're ready. There won't be any shooting, will there? It's not planned, if that's what you mean. Now that it comes right down to it, I'm really scared. All of us. They have a rule at the hotel that there's no shooting. In the casino area, they can't even take their guns out of the holster. 
Even if they see they're being robbed? No shooting inside. It's bad for publicity. <laughs> hey, and, and just in case, just in case, they don't obey their own house rules. Bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> Me that piece of shit. How in the hell you been able to live so long? <laughs> this will guarantee that they don't break their own rules. How'd you find this place? You taught me to go after whatever I wanted in life. And who. The what I still buy. You're not on duty now, are you? You're a real bastard. To even ask such a question. I can make you happy, Roy. The way it used to be. Hey, baby, I don't want anything the way it used to be. But I waited, Roy. I'm entitled. I waited five years for you. But I served the five years. Every night since you've been home, I wait by the phone. I sit and I wait. Nothing. Whose phone did you wait by? not over. Well, where do we stand in all this? drink in my hand. Okay, all bets are down. Wheel is spinning. Get your bets down. Round she goes. Where she stop? On the black, six on the black. <laughs> 
You know what the hell you're doing, brother. Me too. It's been a long time since I handled this stuff. Uh, how long? About 12 years.
27, 21, 79, number 8. You ain't still mad with me, are you, boss? Machinery, James. It wasn't your fault. Then I'm still going with you? Sure. Hey, I watched you. It was close. But you were great, boss. Could live without it. <laughs> Son of a bitch, not me. Man, that's what makes life worth living. Yeah, I guess you're right. Take it from here. You go back to work. Shoot me in the back if you want it that bad. Turn <laughs> mm. around, you coward. Fuck you, get a rat. Huh? 
Say Massa Jelly. Let me let me hear you say Massa. Massa Jelly. Can you say Massa? Come on, sucker. Just once more before you die. <laughs> more minutes. Hello, Roy. So Green was right about Charles all along. Not all along. But now he knows you for what you are. What is it you're looking for? I hear you serve skim milk up here. Oh, Roy. Roy, you see, it's one thing if you hit on me. But if you touch one dollar of that skim, they'll send an army after you. Or after you. As for hitting on you, I like my milk whole and rich. Charles says you get barrels of it that they don't even know about. <laughs> Come on, man. You know what I told Charles is a bunch of shit. Just a... Uh, Jesus. Then I won't be needy anymore. All right. All right, there is some. But it's not as much as I told Charles. But it is enough to die for. Come on, Roy. Look, we're split it. We're split it. Just between you and me, huh? Okay, huh? Where is it? I gotta take you to it. Uh-uh. Damn it, I swear it. It's not here. I gotta take you to it. Okay. Let's move. Oh, shut up.